Revenge Films. Three years after getting married to my husband, I was starting to think that I wanted kids soon, when suddenly one day my husband said, My father's company is in trouble! This came out of nowhere. What do you mean it's in trouble? Are you saying it's going to shudder? Yeah, business isn't going well. I'm doing my best to get work, but for some reason, every month we still have losses. We have a lot of employees too, and at this rate, I think there's no other option but to lose everything. No way. Both of my husband's parents had passed away already, though at different times, and my husband took after his father's company. When my husband became the CEO, he had asked me to quit my job and I resigned from my old company. Hey, would you mind showing me the situation of your company? Sure, I don't mind, but are you going to understand anything? Yeah, I graduated with a degree in economics from college. And at my last company, I was in charge of accounting. I don't know if I'll be able to help, but... I'll take any help I can get, even if it's from a cat. Please have a look! On it! I looked into my husband's company situation. When I opened up the inner workings, they were taking on multiple projects that were not adding up. It was clear that they were taking on work without thinking about the cost of labor or any budget. And they were all projects that would ultimately end in losses. At this rate, it's obvious that business wouldn't go well. I put together the net profits of every project, and starting with my husband, he spoke to all his clients and adjusted the terms of each contract. Of course, because of that, it ended up with some terminated contracts. But on the flip side, he spoke with people in the sales department and started to find new opportunities. It turns out that before, even if they felt the contract was strange, they weren't able to point out mistakes to the CEO himself. Although I was the CEO's wife, I was still a beginner when it came to sales. But it was a big responsibility, so they helped me out a lot in a good way, and they started speaking up more. Miss Sarah, I feel like the net profit of this project is a little bit low. Really? Well, then, let's have a meeting and try to figure it out. Would you be able to organize the data and present it to us? Sure. Miss Sarah, we got a great response from the client. Really? I knew you could do it. Well, then, can you wrap the contract materials within a day? Then you and I can get it finalized together. Yes! All the employees worked hard to fill in the blanks, and the results slowly started to show. It took a year, but the company was revived back into a profitable company. If anything, it had grown into an even bigger company. All right, this quarter's calculations are looking amazing. Now the company is finally stable. It's been a while since we spent time, just the two of us. Maybe I'll invite him for a celebratory drink. After meeting with the client, I called my husband on his cell phone. H honey Oh, it's you, Sarah. Good timing. There was something I wanted to talk to you about. Me? What is it? You've really done an amazing job up until now. Thanks to you, not only has my company gotten back on its feet, it's also gotten bigger. That's why you're not needed anymore. Huh? Uh, what are you saying? You don't get it? I'm telling you there's no use for you anymore. So you're fired. Business is going well, and we can do this without you now. What are you saying? I did all of this thinking I was doing it for you, and therefore for us? You've been going around out of your lane too much. So even though I'm the CEO, everybody is all over you. Nobody is all over me. I was helping you get your company back on its feet, that's all. How is this the conclusion? Shut up! I'm the CEO of this company, and it's mine! I don't need your opinion anymore. Oh, and I'm going to divorce you now. So hurry up and gather your things and get out, all right? W wait a minute! Why on earth is this resulting in a divorce? Oh, thanks to you rebuilding this company, my income has been steadily increasing too. So I don't have to be stuck with some boring loser like you. I can get any girl that I want now. But that means they're just going after your money. I can't believe this! I worked this hard for my husband, but as soon as the company got on the highway, I was told that I was getting let go. And not only that, but being met with a divorce. My blood started to boil. All right then, fine. Let's get a divorce. But don't come crying to me later. Excuse me? Me? Come crying to you? Thanks to you, the company is steady. So why would I ever come crying? <laughs> and so I divorced my husband and resigned from his company. About six months later, I got a call from my ex-husband. Hey, you! 
Get me back, my employees! Huh? What are you talking about? You! You hijacked my company, didn't you? You stole my employees and my clients! All of them! Don't be so childish. That was all the employee's individual and personal decision, you know. Sure, I may have established my own company, but, you know, they all came to me asking me for a job. That's why I hired them. Plus, those clients of yours, it's not like I stole them from you, but they came to me saying that they could trust a company run by me and these employees. That's why they signed a contract with us. Are you kidding me? How did you possibly find the money to start your own company? You better not have taken my assets! Before I left the workplace, it's standard practice to explain the situation to the employees, isn't it? I couldn't be so irresponsible as to just leave without saying anything. When I told them everything, the employees said that they wanted to support me. As soon as my ex-husband hit me with a divorce, I went straight to the city council for divorce paperwork, and I signed my portion. After that, I explained the situation to everyone in the company, but then they said, but the only reason that this company was revived was because of you, Miss Sarah! And you're getting fired? I can't believe this! Seriously! And all the CEO ever did was sit around and watch! If it weren't for you, Miss Sarah, then there's no way that we would have any of the success that we have now! Thank you all. Well, what are you going to do next, then? After this experience of rebuilding the company, I feel like I've gotten a good understanding of business in my own way. I don't know how many years it might take, but I'm going to establish my own business and someday make my husband eat his words. I wish you all the best. But I want to work with you, Miss Sarah. The only reason the company got to where it is today is because you were here. Me too. If I stay with that CEO, I'm sure the same thing is just going to happen again in the future. I'm really happy to hear that you all feel that way. But first, I need to save some money before I can start my own business. That's why it's not going to happen immediately. Well, we could help you with that. I would like to invest in you, Miss Sarah. Me too! What? Hey, everyone, what are you saying? We all know that working with you is most definitely leading to success. So please, let's do it together, Miss Sarah. So the employees did actually gather the money together and made an investment to me. And that's why I was able to start my own company so quickly. Then little by little, the employees transferred over from my ex-husband's company to mine, as well as the clients doing the same, which led us to today. The reason my company is a disaster? It's all your fault! You better take responsibility! What are you saying? That responsibility is all yours. Excuse me? What are you saying? Once I was gone, somebody else was looking after the finances, and I heard that you were using plenty of company money left and right all for your own personal enjoyment. You know that I know all of that, right? And that means that you are treating the company like your own personal bank. Isn't it obvious that that would make the employees want to leave? What? No! That's not- Anyway, maybe the first time was out of your control, but the second time you destroyed the company with your own two hands. And why on earth would any employee want to stay at a company like that? Hey, wait a minute! Please help me! After that, my ex-husband's company failed in business and went bankrupt. I heard that he was left with a very hefty debt. He did this all to himself, and the second time around was truly his own fault, so of course there was no way I would even want to help him. On the other hand, as for me... Miss Sarah, I got a message from the person in charge saying that they were very satisfied with the results, and that they would like us to be in charge of their new product as well. Really? That's great! Well then, let's go there together this afternoon and have a meeting with them. Miss Sarah, about the sample, I feel like we should maybe do it a little bit more like this. That's a good point. But I can't make a decision on my own, so let's get everybody else's opinion at the next meeting. Yes, ma'am! Thanks to the employees who followed me, as well as our precious clients that supported us. Work has been smooth sailing. I can't deny that my husband irritated me, but he sank himself anyway. I'm surrounded by amazing, trustworthy work family, and I feel like I can get through anything with them by my side. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.